Uh, first of all, uh, my apologies about my English level. It's Yoda level and uh, it's a Jedi tradition. Uh, just forgive me. Uh, I'm Fatih Özavcı. Uh, I'm a penetration tester for uh, 13 years. My special uh, expertise uh, on voice over IP servers, voice over IP infrastructure, mobile applications, uh, also other ones. I'm author of a uh, Vipro voice over IP penetration testing kit. Also, I published a, a small paper about SIP trust relationships hacking. Uh, also, I uh, demonstrated Viproy Voice over IP penetration testing kit yesterday uh, in Black Hat Arsenal. Uh, anyone from Black Hat Arsenal here? Okay. Uh, we should uh, wrap up this Viproy part. Viproy is a penetration testing kit, uh, and uh, I will discuss uh, a few advanced attacks, uh, and Viproy uh, have a few models uh, to demonstrate or uh, exploit these attacks. And this is a small deploy demonstration. Vipro uh, has a few models, uh, time models uh, right now, uh, but I'm working on uh, three models. It's a, a Metasploit models pack. You can download and uh, extract uh, in Metasploit root directory. So uh, you can use it to discover SIP infrastructure, voice over IP infrastructure. Uh, you can uh, collect information from SIP servers. Also, you can get a few important things uh, from SIP servers. Also, you can enumerate target servers. Here is the Vipro in action. It has debug support. Also, it has uh, verbose support. That means you can easily collect information from this debug data. Discovery uh, can be used uh, for collecting uh, information. Uh, so we can use uh, all methods, all SIF infrastructure and protocol methods uh, in uh, this collecting uh, part and discovery part. So Vipro has register, options, invite, subscribe, and uh, a few methods to discover features of SIP server. It's basically a SIP client, but a smart one. You can easily develop another model for your custom test or uh, something else. It has a SIP library, uh, actually Metasploit Rex library. That's the register test. We can register an infrastructure, or we can register a client, or we can register a user using Viproy uh, to a SIP server. Also, we can initiate calls with a user or without a user, over a SIP proxy or not. Also, we have a few uh, headers in requests, so we can manipulate these requests uh, and uh, its headers uh, to bypass or um, to bypass billing, to bypass um, restrictions of uh, SIP ACS or SIP firewalls. This is a basic demonstration, basic features of Viproy. I will talk about these basic features now, but I will discuss a few advanced attacks in this session. Also, I have another demo at last of this presentation for these advanced attacks. It's really hard to get picked to speak at uh, DEF CON. Let's give them a big round of applause. So this is his first time speaking, so we need him to do a shot on stage. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> you it's the purple surprise. Do you need <laughs> another? Like another one? Uh, no, not now. <laughs> maybe, maybe later. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs>
uh, I was nervous and I'm fine <laughs> right now. So, um, okay, uh, we should pass this part, uh, this action, or... Okay, we have a few people are coming. We can start actual presentation. You can uh, watch this video, uh, what I just played. Uh, it's already in YouTube. Also, I played this video uh, in many co uh, security conferences uh, to uh, show uh, Vipro's basic features and basic attack uh, abilities. So I will discuss these attacks uh, and uh, how can we use these attacks to bypass security features of uh, SIP servers. And this is my agenda today. Uh, discovery, footprinting, collecting information, initiating a call, initiating a bypass uh, for CDR or billing or restrictions or something else. Also, we have a, another attack, SIP bounce attack. I will explain it. Also, fake services and MITM. Yeah, uh, we have another model for uh, SIP proxy for MITM thing. Uh, also, SIP servers uh, should be available uh, 724, so uh, we can attack them uh, using those features or something else. Also, we have another feature, uh, hacking SIP trust relationships, because they trust each other, so we can act like uh, just one. Also, we can use these SIP features or SIP trust hacking features uh, to attack another client, a specific mobile client and uh, other desktop client. Also, fuzzing, uh, fuzzing in advance, another subject for us. Uh, I will discuss a few fuzzing features. Out of scope is uh, actually RTP. I will add RTP features uh, later. Also, additional services are uh, not subject. Also, XML or JSON-based supporting services is uh, not required for this presentation. SIP is session initiation protocol. It's just a signaling, pro uh, signaling protocol for NGN services or SIP-based telephony services. Uh, next generation network is um, um, postmodern uh, TDM uh, devices. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, HP Blade-like uh, systems. They have three or maybe more soft switches, uh, RTP proxies, C proxies, or something else. So uh, they should connect MSAN or MD gateway devices. Uh, I will show uh, an infrastructure uh, for this sample. Um, so SIP and uh, Megago protocol, also RTP, uh, they are heart of uh, this engine infrastructure. Also, SIP should be implemented uh, securely, this NGM uh, platforms. So we will hack this SIP protocol uh, and we will hack this NGM uh, infrastructure. Uh, they use next generation network term, but uh, I believe it's not uh, because SIP is old protocol. SIP has uh, many security weaknesses and we will discuss in this presentation these weaknesses. Uh, this is sample SIP server in your network. If you have a network, commercial network, it should be placed just like that. By the way, commercial services are completely different. This is sample next generation network infrastructure. SIP server, also known as soft switch, heart of this infrastructure. STP servers, also other servers, such as VAS or DBI uh, or CDR. Uh, these servers should be connected with soft switches. Uh, also, uh, MSAN devices and media gateway devices should be implemented for uh, endpoint termination. For uh, between MSAN media gateway devices and uh, soft switches, uh, the protocol is Megaco. Uh, other connections, especially uh, redirecting calls uh, between soft switches, it should be SIP, SIP. Uh, also, uh, you should know uh, you, ha you used uh, many um, soft phone application in your mobile phones. That means uh, you already have SIP services and you are a customer of uh, a SIP provider. But the, here's the thing, uh, 
they think uh, they are secure, but it's not. Especially their infrastructure is vulnerable. This infrastructure not closed, but uh, they think it's closed. Actually, it's open physical access. Also, uh, you can uh, easily manipulate endpoint terminators such as meta gateway devices, smart modems, or something else. Also, uh, they think uh, abusing voice over IP requires uh, specific knowledge. Uh, it's n that's no longer the case uh, with Vpro uh, because we have many features uh, to easily test these SIP servers' features and security. Uh, also, they uh, focused on toll-based uh, attacks, toll fraud or something else. Uh, but we have many attacks, uh, spying, phishing, surveillance, or DDoS, DDoS attacks, or uh, attacking actual uh, mobile clients or desktop clients. Also, uh, value-added services are another uh, important vulnerable servers. Also, they, they think uh, they are vulnerable devices, uh, well configured and securely. They are vulnerable. They use all softwares. They use uh, actual legacy softwares, uh, Solaris 5 or uh, Linux uh, Slackware uh, 2.1 or something else. So we can easily bypass and exploit them. Uh, but that is not our real subject. We will discuss a specific one, SIP protocol. Uh, Vipro, uh, Vipro is a vulcanic word. That means call. Uh, Vipro has many modules to test SIP server security. So we can actually initiate a few uh, advanced attacks and uh, mostly all basic attacks uh, for uh, these target uh, SIP servers using Vpro's modules. Uh, also, it has custom header support. It has uh, authentication support, but uh, in many ways. Just proxy authentication, server authentication uh, for different hashing algorithm, uh, algorithms and uh, a few ones. Uh, also, uh, I have uh, a few uh, new models such as Trust Analyzer, uh, Short Message Service uh, Tester, uh, or Bounce Scam Model, DDoS initi Initializer, or uh, directly MITM proxy tool. Uh, you can use this tool to test uh, attacks, uh, which we'll discuss now. Basic attacks are important. Uh, they are uh, not new, uh, but we have uh, no sufficient tool uh, to analyze uh, this type of attacks. Sandra Gocho left SIP Vicious. Uh, also, Shipshack and other tools uh, not sufficient for penetration testing of SIP servers. We should create another one. I should create another one uh, because I need it. Uh, so uh, I create Vipro. Uh, to analyze security of SIP servers, especially their uh, features, discovering SIP servers, enumerating SIP servers, collecting remote uh, users' internal numbers or uh, clients, brute force attacks for internal numbers, users with a password list or not, also uh, identifying specific numbers, identifying value added services. Uh, or something else. If you use this test after authentication, you have no choice uh, except Vipro. Uh, by the way, brute forcing uh, or uh, invites features, uh, they are required to test uh, special uh, features of uh, SIP security. Uh, also, we can initiate direct invite attacks. We can initiate invite spoofing attacks, or we can initiate uh, proxy redirected uh, invoice attacks. So we can easily bypass CDR records uh, or uh, ACLs or uh, maybe invoice things. Uh, we probably, uh, easily automate this type of attacks. Uh, this is basic discovery thing. Um, this discovery step is basic, just like other penetration testing uh, types. We should send a request and we will wait uh, for response to analyze. So we can send options, register, invite, subscribe, message, or uh, all methods. So we have all in Vpro. Uh, another one is uh, we should analyze uh, re uh, headers in response. Uh, so left side, generic headers, and the right side, proxy headers and warnings. 
We can collect many information from these headers. MSAN devices, invoice information, uh, remote server software or uh, it's vulnerable or not. Register is another important test uh, because many uh, value added services has no authentication. Another thing is these uh, specific services or uh, specific trunks or specific gateways uh, has no authentication uh, to uh, heat up or uh, to speed up the connection. So we can initiate register attack to detect this no authentication services. Also we can register our specific port and uh, IP address to initiate row attacks such as row fuzzing. We will discuss in fuzzing section uh, but you should know uh, SIP servers have uh, many authentication uh, skills. So uh, if it has an authentication just like that, uh, it waits uh, so, uh, your registration and uh, it, uh, it sends a privileged uh, ACL or uh, it accepts your specific IP address and port for other requests without authentication. Uh, if uh, this type of authentication is available, uh, you can register your specific port and IP address to initiate other attacks such as direct invite, <coughs> spoofing or fuzzing things. Uh, by the way, register attack uh, could be used for brute force or uh, something else. We have many more attack type. Uh, also, we can bypass many things using proxy headers or a few specific features such as uh, changing from field, changing contact field, adding specific proxy headers such as changing uh, vector or uh, changing identity over uh, proxy headers such as P asserted identity calling party ID or P preferred identity. These headers could be used to bypass um, billing or uh, security ACs or uh, SIP specific firewalls uh, acting just like another SIP proxy. We can use these attacks. Also we have another attack just uh, Really invite uh, or update. We can uh, send re invite request or update request during a call to change its charging vector, change its billing features. So we can use these features. Uh, also, you can uh, develop specific tool or specific module for uh, Vpro. Invite request uh, issues uh, just like that we will send an invite and we will get a specific response. Uh, we can change many headers. So we can easily bypass rules, protected or not. Specific uh, headers uh, I already mentioned. Uh, also it's just basic usage. But we will use invite uh, for specific tests, uh, for another test, just trust analyzer or something else. This is SIP bounce attack. It's similar uh, to FTP bounce attack. If remote target uh, has a proxy support, we can use it uh, to scan other servers, which is trusted or not. So uh, we can use it basically. Uh, these are a screenshot. So uh, this tool exposes uh, user agent or uh, server software. Uh, remote servers and uh, untrusted ones. It, uh, it's, it works just like that. We will send a register or option or invite request to target remote server. Uh, also we will change its real or URI to connect another one. So we can collect this information. It's important for us uh, because remote servers and front end servers uh, well protected and uh, these servers has many uh, call ACLs. Uh, so we can use this remote targets if it has a, a proxy support, uh, scan other specific features and other inaccessible servers. Also we can initiate other attacks such as SIP trust relationships. Uh, also just now uh, I should mention another thing. Uh, I have a friend for you. Uh, 
I will mention uh, after uh, the video, uh, sorry, I should mention after the video, but uh, I already shot, <laughs> you know. Uh, so uh, this is my friend, it's a gift for best question. Uh, it's five year old aged special Turkish record. I'm from Turkey, as you know. Uh, so uh, if you uh, shot me a good question, uh, you will have uh, this bottle. Uh, if uh, we'll have a, if uh, we will uh, no time uh, to QA section, uh, you will find me at uh, Chili Bar, uh, Chili Out Bar, or QA section, or uh, just uh, push me or <laughs> uh, attack me uh, to ask a question. So uh, we will continue uh, again. Uh, fake services, another subject. We should discuss about um, fuzzing features or. Uh, specific MITM attacks. Uh, because our regular SIP clients, generic SIP clients, has no features to bypass uh, billing or security features. Also, it has no support in my spoofing. So we will add MITM tool. We can change our client's features. For example, adding in my support, in my spoofing support, specific proxy header support to bypass billing. Also, we can use this feature to fuzz SIP clients or servers. We can easily change specific data uh, with fuzzing requests. So uh, we, we will have a few crashes from SIP clients or servers. Fake servers, uh, fake services uh, is not yet ready. Uh, not ready yet. Uh, by the way, MITM is ready. Uh, I updated Vproys. Uh, GitHub uh, repository, so you can easily download it and uh, you can use it. Uh, this MITM feature is useful for testing or adding uh, specific features. You can use it freely. Uh, but uh, I should mention, uh, if you use it to collect information, collect credentials uh, from clients, such as MITM attacks uh, or something else, you should use uh, ARP scan or ARP spoof or uh, VLAN hopping attacks. Uh, you should be a man in the middle uh, to collect this information. Also, those is another important thing uh, when we will discuss about SIP servers. Uh, it's not server, it's a business. So uh, money is really important uh, for them. So we, uh, we can attack their ab uh, availability. Uh, lacking all users if they have account locking policy. Uh, also, we can initiate many call same time so we can uh, overflow uh, call limits of uh, server or we can ring all clients same time it's possible so we can use this uh, those things easily uh, by the way we can use these attacks uh, to bypass a few features for example uh, if you, you uh, if you act uh, if you need to act uh, just like with a, a SIP proxy you should uh, disable it. So uh, you can use these tools to disable or uh, unresponsive uh, this remote uh, SIP server. Uh, by the way, we have another attack. SIP servers send many responses. It's an RFC. So we can initiate a bogus request. For example, unauthenticated invite or something else. They will send us many responses, 10 plus, 20 plus, maybe more. So we can send IP spoofed requests to target SIP servers. So this remote SIP server will send responses to another DDoS target, just like that. So we can search many servers, many SIP servers, and we can collect all of them to initiate a DDoS attack. You should remember, all SIP servers, uh, all SIP services uh, should contain many SIP servers for gateway connection, for international connection, for redirection or backup. So we can use all of them in same network. And acting another one, uh, we cannot access. Uh, also, uh, trust relationship hacking is another subject. We can act just like SIP proxy. 
So we, we can act and we can initiate call, we can send messages, or we can attack mobile clients via this SIP trust relationships. Engine servers should trust each other because TCP is slow and uh, TLS or other encryptions are uh, slow. By the way, uh, they require many CPU usage. So engine infrastructure and vendors uh, prefer UDP-based SIP authentication and UDP-based trust. So we can attack just like SIP proxy or something else. Uh, we need a specific information for uh, this attack. We should have an internal number. Basically, we should be a customer of this service because we should have a soft or a hardware client to view caller ID. We will spread IP spoofed and port spoofed packets, this target server, and if this server trusts other IPs, there will be a call and we will learn its basic IP address and port. It's in baby steps, we should find trusted SIP networks, mostly B class. We should send request, invite request for each IP and port. That means 60,000, maybe more request. If this server, target server, accepts uh, one of them, we will have a call, but we, we will have no idea about uh, which one is trusted. Here is the thing, we have in my spoofing section. So I will add IP and port section in from field. That means when we will have a call, we should see which IP and port is trusted in from field and calling number. Okay, here's the schema and demo. There's an attacker. Attacker have no idea about Ankara's or Istanbul's IP addresses and networks. He, sh uh, he should know only B class network, maybe C class network. He should have a soft client from Izmir server, this production server. He will spread, he will initiate IP spoofed packets from this field, just like uh, sending from Istanbul or Ankara. And when we have a call, we will see IP address and port. That means Izmir trusts Istanbul's IP address and port. Okay, uh, how can we use it? It's trusted, but what? We can initiate a call. If we have a specific IP address and port, we can send specific IP address and port, and we can send specific from field, and we can initiate a call. So it's a, in my spoofing also, it's CDR and building bypass. By the way, a, probably you should uh, ask, or uh, you will ask, uh, it's just one package and we used IP spoofing and we have no responses and uh, how the call uh, works? How will it resume? Uh, it's not. All required is uh, we have a packet to send another one. For example, internal number 101. One packet is sufficient for uh, main attacks. I will show you. By the way, in message protocol and message method, has no resume or no state. So you can send this message, short message or something else, to remove server, just like came from Istanbul or something else, which trusted. That means you can exploit specific voice over IP features, voice mailbox features, value added services, just like uh, send a register request for us with short message service, invoice me at this month. We can spoof this message. So we can change billing features. Or we can acting a few features. I'm not here, redirect me for something else. Okay, just send us a message which one is required. Or 
uh, where you will be available. Okay, redirect space my internal number. This is small message. We can send it. So we can handle all calls. It's possible. By the way, we can use it uh, to initiate those attacks, the unlawed service attacks. For example, ringing all clients, bypassing a few features, uh, initiating many calls to overloading servers uh, or uh, vast servers, uh, vast services, value-added services or CDR fields. By the way, we can attack specific mobile clients or desktop clients. When we send this invite request or message request, we have a few features. From, from name, contact fields will be same. We can send this request to remote server and remote server redirect these fields to client. So we can fuzz it or we can crash it with many AAAs in from field or from name field or contact field. Also we have message support so we can exploit this vulnerability over message too. Also uh, maybe uh, you know SIP and STP has many features. So this type of STP request or STP content should be redirected. Also my time support should be available. And you can manipulate MIME types or its contents of this request to crash mobile application. Uh, this client trusts remote IP address and port. So we can initiate IP spoofing easily. And basically, I crashed an application. Other phone, iPhone SIP client you can download it from App Store, has a vulnerability. Uh, it has a no border control in front field. So we can send 550 charts in this field and it will crash. It will be crashed. So we can exploit it. Okay, we should summarize and collect it. We can send a packet from Istanbul, we have no idea, and we cannot access this Istanbul, to Izmir, the production server. We have its IP address, yes. But it will redirect this call to another one, something else. We have no idea its IP address. But it has an internal number, just your cell number or something else. So there is no user interaction. The application will crash. There is a client attack. So many applications uh, can be vulnerable to this type of attacks. Asterisk has a limit uh, this from field, for this from field. Uh, only 1,000 charts, maybe more. Uh, by the way, uh, SIPSEX or other commercial products has no, uh, no, no restriction for this from field. So we can use this from field, from name field, contact field, or other MIME types to crash specific application. Also, we have fuzzing. Anybody love fuzz, uh, but fuzzing is uh, completely different in C protocol. You have many fuzzers, but these fuzzers are old, and it's really important because vendors use these old tools to evolve their products. So you have no vulnerabilities uh, to find using these tools. You should uh, change your perspective and uh, vision. We can fuzz it in many ways, acting just like SIP server, SIP client, MITM attack, or just like uh, acting like proxy or something else. Uh, but old school fuzzing is not sufficient. Request-based and response-based fuzzing difference. Uh, has a, a, few, a, a few differences. Request-based fuzzing uh, is popular and we have many tools for request fuzzing. But they have no uh, state feature. They cannot track all call and they cannot fuzz during a call. Our newest SIP fuzzing tool published in DEFCON 
2007. So we have no new tool almost uh, six years. Uh, we can develop our specific fuzzing tool, especially for response-based fuzzing. So we can use these features in Vpro's specific zip library. We can initiate specific fuzzing features. Uh, how about smart fuzzing? Smart fuzzing should be uh, real smart. It should have state support. It should have uh, many methods such as uh, subscribe, act, frag, or invite, re-invite, update. We have no support uh, in many tools. Also, uh, fuzzing after authentication is a completely different thing because we have no tool to uh, fuzz remote servers after authentication or with authentication. So uh, we have another thing. Yes, fuzzing uh, is cool, especially crashing an application, but in SIP servers, we should fuzz specific numbers for value-added services, detecting its features, detecting free call features, or detecting a few specific things. So you can easily create your basic fuzzer. Okay. Vipro, uh, how it helps you? It has a basic C library. Uh, a few models uh, have a dump fuzzing support. I will show you. Uh, also, uh, we have custom header support. So we can easily bypass many things uh, before fuzzing. Also, less code, only 20 lines, maybe more. Uh, we can easily develop our tools. Also, it has raw request support, so uh, you can combine it with your uh, generic fuzzer. It's really uh, free. Fuzzing SIP services request-based. Okay, you already knew uh, this request-based fuzzing and I will bypass it. But you should know headers should be fast. Proxy headers or something else. Okay. Here's the thing. Response-based fuzzing is not popular. Also, there is no tool to fuzz response uh, features of SIP server. Just imagine you have two clients, one for acting just like remote SIP client, just one for attacking and fuzzing remote server during this call. You can initiate two clients separately and you can drive separately all of them. Also you can initiate many using this library. Starting one and starting two, after that you will initiate a call from starting two and target is one. Also you can add re-invite fuzzing feature during this call. You can add STP fuzzing feature during this call. Also, this response is important because when you send a request to a server, server redirects the request to another client. If this client sent bogus responses, this remote server should assess and analyze and execute this response. 200 OK, such as. So we can send bogus responses. So uh, it's a specific feature. You can develop your tools using Vpro. Vpro has many features, so we have uh, a few things to develop, such as uh, advanced fuzzing support, RTP support, TCP TLS support, or uh, many more. By the way, it's MSF licensed, so you can download it freely, you can change it, you can develop your tools with this library. Uh, that's it. I will show another demo. This demo prepares to show SIP bounce attack, hacking SIP trust relationships, detecting trusted servers, initiating a fake call, after that crashing a mobile client. This is a sample. I have a network, actually a, a small network, three 
SIP servers and uh, four SIP clients. We can initiate this SIP mouse attack to detect servers and clients, trusted or not. We can use remote SIP proxy server. We will have two SIP servers now. One is ours, another one is inaccessible for us. Also, we have another branch, 200 and 210. I will set this branch to detect remote SIP servers and clients during the test. As you see, there are many SIP services, one of them SIP server, other SIP clients. SIP trust hacking is basic and old method, uh, but we can use it easily for NGM platforms especially in local network. So we can easily break physical network with smart modems hacking or uh, physical hacking, breaking locks or something else. And we can initiate this attack. Also, SIP services also vulnerable this type of attacks. SIP services, uh, trust hacking uh, should be prepared with a specific target range. And uh, I set SIP server the remote server, source remote host is potential network. Also, I can set a port range because uh, they can use any ports to, for trust or something else. Also, we should set interface for IP spoofing and row request. And internal number 103 and we will initiate this attack. If you have a number, we have a IP or something else, we will learn which host is trust. As you see, 202 and its port uh, 5060 is trusted. It's a pair, it's a port for restriction and ACL. So I can set specifically this one, and I will initiate a call. This is trusted host, and I set from field for in my spoof. I can write anything. I write Occupy Gezi. If you already knew Gezi Park Resistance in Turkey, it's a tribute. By the way, if you don't know, uh, you can search this tag in Twitter. As you see, we have a call. Also, we can crash mobile application. This mobile application is other phone in iPhone. Uh, in iPhone, you can download it from App Store. I downloaded it and uh, I initiate a secure shell session left side, and I start uh, a debugger, and I crash it uh, with a right terminal. I set only set action to call. I set from field to fast features. For example, set from Fast 550. Also, I will set two field. That means our destination, our internal number, remote. So, I initiate a debugger.
You can watch this video from YouTube too. It's available from Vipro WebKit's homepage. As you see, it's really easy to use uh, because it's a Metasploit module set. Left side, as you see, 138 is iPhone's IP address, but I have no idea and I didn't set it uh, in my tool. I initiate you know, debugger to debug other phone application. It's PID. And Junior Debugger will be initiated for this PID. It's continuing. When I start the attack, you should watch and you should see left side a kernel email address issue. We have a memory corruption vulnerability. And uh, it's a basic DOS attack. Uh, by the way, uh, it can be exploited. You feel, free to explo uh, you feel free to develop and exploit for this vulnerability using this tool. So, uh, you can download this presentation from my homepage, also Vipro's homepage. You can download this tool from Vipro's homepage, also its GitHub source code section. Uh, by the way, you have uh, a, a 15 minutes uh, training video. You can use it. Also, these papers. Uh, yeah, th these people uh, helped me uh, to pr present. Uh, also, uh, they encouraged me. Uh, I, <laughs> I have many respect for them. Yes, I have only one minute. Uh, so, uh, I will be uh, chilling out cafe. I have this one for you. If you will came to ask specific question or smart question, I will uh, give you. <laughs> okay. Thank you.